2019 has definitely been the biggest and best year for guided hacking. A lot going on, and uh, and it's definitely difficult to stay up to date. So I'm this is just gonna be like a brain dump of some different things that are happening. I'm trying to put an emphasis lately on guided hacking branded tools. There are we have a lot of really good developers in the community, and I think we can pump out some stuff that can be really good, uh, not just for our community but for the game hacking community in general. Um, just something that came out the other day, Kisk made a guided hacking entity list finder, really cool tool, check it out. It will find the entity list in basically any game. The guided hacking injector, Brohan just pushed an update. We are now at version 3.3, uh, a lot of bug fixes. We haven't gotten a single bug report on this version. It works really good, it has dark mode, it looks really slick and it is super smooth. Definitely try it out if you haven't used the latest version. I also just pushed a release to my guided hacking undetected cheat engine. It's now been updated for version 7.0, so it can bypass any uh, window-based string uh, detection for cheat engine. Uh, iPower just released um, he, uh, an, a little update to his VM Protect import fixer tool. It will... Uh, when you dump VM Protect 3, it'll fix the imports. A uh, pretty slick tool there as well. Um, I'm also trying to trying to upload a bunch of tools and try to make us more of like a place where you can just download stuff because who doesn't love free downloads, right? Um, we're, I'm trying to get more people just involved with the community and make it more fun. Like how can we get people more involved? We're going to try to do like a GH game night and get people together and either just hack a game or just play a game in bullshit and voice chat. I think that'll be fun. We recently brought uh, Timber from Game Freakers on board. He is migrating all of his content over to Guided Hacking. Um, he's done some really cool stuff. So he's going to move over some of his old content, kind of drip feed into GH. He's got his own section now, which he's in total control of. He just released this one, which was really cool. He does these like cool reversing articles, and uh, he does some really neat stuff. So in Dishonored 2, they had actually removed the... Uh, the console, like the developer's console, so you have no access to any console at all. Uh, they didn't just disable uh, your ability to open it, they actually removed the code associated with it. So he actually had to reverse engineer the whole thing and then create his own console, uh, which is pretty sick. Uh, really cool read. He go, he's got a really good way of explaining things, and uh, it, the, it's just really good content. Usually people just post stuff on the forum. He really goes in and explains it all to you. It's really cool. Um, really happy to have him on board. Also doing a little bit of streaming. Uh, I'm on Twitch right now. I'm probably going to stream on YouTube as well. Some hacking and reversing stuff. Some just gameplay screwing around stuff. If you want to check it out, it could be fun. Other people, if you want to stream some coding and reversing stuff, you know, put your put your channel up here. Be cool to see what you're up to. Um, as always, I'm always doing stuff with the site. I've been, I got laid off about a month ago, so I've been going like hardcore just doing a ton of stuff over the past month that I've been meaning to do for like a year. Um, so this list, uh, I'm keeping everyone up to date in this thread. It's all the different things I've been doing. I just want to make the best possible experience for everyone involved. All the, I want us to make us the best form. One thing I did recently was I just redid all these banners. So depending on what rank you are, you now get a cool banner. Way nicer than what we had set up before. So if you ever want to see what I'm up to and what kind of new stuff we're doing, uh, you can check out that thread. BDK player is working on this Age of Empires uh, 2 hack. Uh, he's got like a little ESP, so it's basically like a, a map hack, right? So you can see through the fog of war. This thing is sick. And this is uh, kind of like a guided hacking community project. He got it started, and it's on our GitHub He's, uh, there's a couple people working on it. It's quite cool. They've been developing it pretty steadily for the past week. I'm also just trying to get our GitHub to be a little more exciting. We have some stuff on here that's pretty cool, but it'd be good to, you know, increase the number of projects on here and get more people involved. Next up, we have uh, X Darian X came out of freaking nowhere like a month ago and just started posting like a freaking madman. He is uh, he does a lot of CS:GO stuff. He's basically I don't know. He's probably his twenty or thirty source codes, downloads, and tutorials he posted just in the past month. It's insane. 
Uh, he's posted a ton of shit, so check him out if you're into the CSGO stuff. Um, if you haven't been paying attention, our channel has uh, gone crazy lately. We've been trying to dump a whole bunch of videos. We got Skyrim tutorials. We have penetration videos. We have some Linux programming in C tutorials. Uh, upcoming how to find a view matrix offset in CSGO video. A lot going on, so please stay tuned. I'm trying to diversify the channel a little bit um, I'll, and go beyond just game hacking. I'd like to get more into some more legitimate uh, development, malware analysis, and cybersecurity stuff. I think that would be really cool, and it would attract people um, that are not in the game hacking scene. Last thing I just thought of was this Kingdom Come Deliverance hack by Oscar. So this thing is really cool. Uh, if you want to check it out, he just released it this week. Uh, it has a billion features, and it works pretty good. It is cool. Bony SP, all that good stuff. So check that out if you have that game. All right, that's all I can think of for now. Stay tuned.